Hello crazy fam, welcome to a giant Shein order. I bought a bunch of bathing suits and I'm gonna haul them all for you. I'm gonna leave this pile that's down here next to me for last because those are all the pieces I know I'm going to keep and these other ones I'm not as sure about. Are they really living up to what I thought they would look like in the picture? Overall, I'm gonna give you guys my opinions because I have never ordered from Shein before. So I'm gonna let you know if I really think the quality holds up to the price, which is, well, cheap. And I'm hoping they don't look cheap. But before we get started, I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and that subscribe button down below to join the crazy fam, because I do post a new video every single Wednesday where I do videos on helping you figure out adulting, doing hauls, doing vlogs along the way, keeping you entertained, and today is no different with bathing suits. And I hate shopping for bathing suits because I think they're insanely expensive and I don't wear them that much, to be honest. So to start off with, oh, I'll probably pop on the screen like what the model looks like in the pair and what they look like in person. So to start off with, we have this pair right here. And I tried all these on already so I can give you an idea of how they fit on me specifically. And I think the idea of these with the cross on them is a better idea than it really is in reality. Because in reality, um, I have a muffin top, and my muffin top goes between these holes, and it feels like it's just fat sticking out between the middle, which is totally fine. It's just not the look I'm going for. I do love the color. I just think it's a little bit um, too showy of my fat, and I'm gonna put them back in the bag so I can actually return them. But we have plenty more bathing suits that will hopefully do better than that one, but I will say the material on it feels just as good as Target ones, which are like $20 sometimes for one bottom. And so for those ones, I would say the quality is great, the price is great on them. And then I got these bad boys right here, thinking that I could maybe do the idea of bathing suits without ties on the side. But personally for me, if you got a little bit of a muffin top, I would stick with the ties. Other than that, this pair was super cute. I think it's the right color of yellow. Oh, that's the back of them. This is the front of them. They are literally just a simple little bit of a high rise bathing suit. The stitching on them is really well. They are double sided, so there is two fabric layers. It's got a good stretch to them. The metal seems good. The stitching all seems good. And like I said, it holds up pretty well comparable to a Target bathing suit. And the color is great. I just find that having, again, just a single strap and not like a tie to distract, not really the look I go for. And then we also have this pair right here, which I would say they were a great price, but the color is not my yellow. Like that yellowy orange color looks a lot better than this one does in person. It's a very bright, like neon-y colored yellow, and that is not for me, but it might be for you, and it does have these ties that go around the waist, but it's similar to that other idea where unless you are very, very skinny, it just happens to show off the wrong kind of curves, but the stitching overall is good on these ones too. These ones are a little bit more, um, not see-through is not the right word, but they're a little bit thinner than the other one. And the ties are nice too, so I think they would hold up even in the washing machine. They're similar to like a bikini top, like the strings that you tie that up with. And then I also got this pair right here, and if you can't tell the theme, I got a lot of bathing suit bottoms. But this one is actually, oh, this is one of my um, ones that I might be keeping. Because those are the ones I'm definitely not keeping, but I might keep this one. And it is a full bodysuit. So it is a black bodysuit, and then it has detailing underneath the boob and an opening right here. The one thing is this opening does go wider at the top, and it does leave a good amount of skin up top here. And if you don't have cleavage, it's just a lot of flat space, and I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I do like how the back on this one has like a clip design and then an opening right here, and it's a little bit skinnier on the buttocks area, so it's very flattering in my opinion. I did get another one-piece bathing suit, which I will show you guys, which covers my butt a little bit more, and I think this one looks a little bit better. And I also got this pair right here, which is another black one, and for the same purpose of that other one. So when I don't wanna be showing off as much and I wanna be a little bit more covered because I am going to a trip in December to Mexico with my family, and so I figured maybe I don't need to be as showy during that trip. So I got these pair right here, which are a pair of high-waisted bottoms, and I thought it'd be good because it just covers a little bit more, and it's black, so it'd match with a lot of things. It's just the one thing is, yes, this holds up very well, and like even the see-through parts seem like they would hold up good. The stitching isn't as great on this one as compared to the other ones, so I will say if you're getting any of the ones with more 
designs or a little bit more to them. They might not be as good as like a Target one, but the simple bottoms, definitely just as good. It's just the one thing I didn't think about is the stripes are going the wrong direction. So it actually makes me look bigger and doesn't look as flattering. There's a reason why stripes go elongated. It's to make you look taller not wider in that area. So I'm not gonna be keeping those ones, but I might keep that one piece because again, I like the butt on that one. And then I got these pair right here, which are a different material than I was expecting. And these ones I would say are more what I people what I feel like people expect Shein to be. Like it kind of feels and looks cheap, just like a reputation for a cheaper online store that doesn't cost as much money would get. So I would not recommend these ones. This is what the pattern looks like, in my opinion. It, it's kind of the look of those like cheap stores in the mall with like some random, random name and really weird items. Or those places that like in Santiali or like downtown LA or a city in general where it's like the mannequins are outside wearing really funky outfits and you ask yourself who would be wearing those. I feel like you'd find those bathing suits. These bathing suits there because they just look kind of cheap. The metal idea is cool and I would just say it just... These aren't a good buy. They're the same price as those other ones, yet they look a lot cheaper. It might be for somebody else, but it is not for me. And if you were thinking this is all negative, I am sorry, but I'm just trying to give some real honest opinions here. But overall, the quality of all the items are so much better than I was expecting because I've never ordered from them. And I do have a whole pile here at the end that I'm super excited about that I'm keeping all of them. So I will show you guys those ones. We're just starting off with a little bit negative. And the other thing is I did get a few things that are not bathing suits that I'll mix in here. And one of them is a pair of shorts and they're supposed to be the ones that stitch up your to give you that little booty booty look and I have a pair of leggings like that and they make my ass look great so I definitely think those things definitely work and I don't have the biggest butt in the world and it still makes it look good but then there's other things that don't exactly do the same thing and these are one of them the stitching that's supposed to be in between your butt is up above my butt so it doesn't actually like scrunch between my butt and it basically just makes my butt look really weird almost like I'm wearing a diaper and it's just it's not the go-to, so I wanna put this one up on the screen like I did the other ones, and I would just say, try another one of those shorts or from another company because they look great on my butt, it's just these ones do not. The stitching is way too high up. It is not flattering, but I do like how everything Shein sends over is individually bagged. So these bags say Shein like this, and they're zippered at the top, and the other ones we've been looking at are these bags right here, which is just a like florally pattern, and then mine just came in like a gray, white bag with all these shoved inside of it. And these are actually one of the two pieces and I almost kept this one. So I actually do like this bathing suit. It's just, I didn't want as many pieces as I ordered. I'm like, I need to return them. I can't keep them all. And the nice thing is for, um, for Shein, they do do free returns within the US, I think on your like first order or something. So I wasn't too worried about the items because I'm like, if I hate them all, I can return them all, you know? And this one right here, I do not like the top per se because it's just not flattering on me, but I bought it for the bottoms, which I actually do like the bottoms, but I can't, uh, I kept another set, which I'll show to you guys which one I kept. But these ones right here, they're super cute, super flattering. The ties are great so that they don't show off the muffin top. They kind of hide it. They cut in like a perfect amount and they're just high enough and they're just cheeky enough where it covers stuff. But it doesn't feel like you're wearing like a wet diaper, but it doesn't also feel like you're showing the beach everything you got. And that's why I do like these. And it is a two piece for around the same price as just the bottoms were. So it's a great price, much cheaper than Target. Yet yeah, again, same quality, love the quality of these. They're double lined, they got padding in the top. It's just the top is not the shape that works with my chest, but it might work for you. And there's different ways to wear them. And then there's this pair right here, which are similar to the black ones we saw with the knots on them because it has the metal detailing. It's just these ones are a lot more flattering because it has the ties on them and they're a lot skinnier. These are the only ones that have this detail right here where it's ribbed. I'm not sure if that's really the right word for it, but it basically, it's got some stripes on it. It's got the knots and the metal detailing. I just decided they cut in a little bit more than I like on a bathing suit, especially on the front but I would have totally kept them if I didn't love as many other pieces as I did. So that is the only reason why these ones are a no-go for me. And then I have some maybes down here. 
and these maybes for me are this top which I actually was really excited about it just it doesn't feel as nice as I thought it was going to especially compared to the level at which the bathing suits were how they lived up to my expectations on quality except that one piece this not as much it feels a little bit rough but what it is, is it is a crop top. It is a yellow crop top that looks like this. It has a tie around the neck. It's just like I said, the material's a little bit rough. And I don't like how the padding is the only part that's not see-through. And it doesn't really go with the like lace detail as much. I still might keep it though because I do like it overall the look i'm just not sure how i feel about the feel of it and how on the back the tie is only at the top and not at the bottom so this part kind of just hangs down but again i might keep it i might not that is a maybe piece and my other maybe piece is another two piece that i actually got on sale for a great price and I would say the quality of this one is similar except the lace edges. So it is a two piece so it does have a top and a bottom. So the top looks like this and thank goodness it is one of those ones where the strap goes all the way through. I like those because sometimes I like to wear it a little bit wider or in a little bit more depending on how the bathing suit fits on my chest and you can do that too. So I like it when a bathing suit does that and doesn't just like stitch it and like you got the end, you got the middle. Like I like to be able to adjust it. It's just the one thing is that the lace, the stitching on the edge of here, this one comes in right and then this one it's like just hanging off. I don't know if you can see that. So I'll have to stitch that myself down because it's not stitched itself. But I would say the quality is still the same and it actually allows you to remove the cups which I appreciate. Sometimes I want to wear them, sometimes I don't. And I like that you can pull them out and put them back in and it's also easier when you wash them to be able to fix them. And then it does have the straps with the matching design on them, but the one thing is that this one has the pattern up here and then it's like basically all white right here, which I did notice uh, when I put it on. But the bathing suit bottoms were my favorite part, again, just because I feel like bathing suit bottoms always fit me better than tops. So they look like this, and I actually really do like these, so I might keep them because I like the bottoms. It's not my favorite pattern, but I got them because they were a great deal, and I'm like, I want pattern pieces because I have so many plain ones, and I don't really think they look good together. At least that's not for me. It might be for somebody else, but I do think they would look really good, like, separated. So wear a black top with this one. Wear black bottoms with this one so you have a pop of pattern, but not a crazy amount of pattern. So those are still a maybe for me. And now my favorite part of this all is my yes pieces. My yes, yes, yes pieces. And this bad boy right here is a cheetah number. I'm not sure if it's cheetah, leopard, whatever it is. But I wanted this because I used to hate animal prints and now I kind of like them. And this is another one of those, I might just keep it for the bottoms. Well, I am keeping it. I decided I am keeping this pair. And that's because I think the bottoms are cute. So the bottoms look like this. They are not double-sided on the pattern, which I don't like as much, but at least they do go in enough that if a little bit bends over, you can still like see the cheetah and not the inner pattern. And I like how this one has a stitch down the butt. So it's a little bit more flattering because it indents in a little bit more, if that makes sense. I'm not as big of a fan of the stitching on the edge right there, but it's not that noticeable. I still think it looks super cute. The top, on the other hand, is really hard to put on. It looks like this, but the knots are a little bit weird. Even in the reviews, everyone's like, it's cute if you can figure out how the heck to put it on. And I do think it was kind of cute. It just wasn't comfortable for me, but I might like change how the straps are tied and still wear it. But overall, for the price, it's still good just for the bathing suit bottoms. And then I got this bad boy right here, which I think is super cute. And ignore the tag on it, I'm gonna take that off. But it is a pineapple number, and it's just a body tie thing. So if you're wearing a bathing suit, you can tie it around yourself in different ways. Just as a little cover up moment, especially when I am in Mexico, I think this will be super cute. And then I got a three pack of belts and oh my goodness, these belts are so much nicer than I expected. How much I paid for three belts is how much I would pay at one belt at like H&M or Forever 21. And these are so much better quality. And oddly they smell like leather, but I'm like, they can't be real leather for that price, but they straight up smell like leather. And it is a three pack of belts with the almost fake Gucci like circles, but I don't buy it because I want it to look like Gucci. I just bought it because I liked it. 
but they look like that at the top and it is three different colors so it's black a nude and a brown moment and that is the stitching around the edges it has a good seal and overall they look really good there's enough holes for me it is one size fits all so unfortunately it will not work for everybody and you have to look at the dimensions it fits for me for like a normal height pant but for a high rise i am going to add some more holes to it but overall quality so so much better than I expected like the hold up on these is great I would definitely recommend buying those there's a bunch of ones that look similar to each other I'm not sure how the others would be I can only tell you how those ones would be and then I got one of those like hair tie thingies um it's ignore that's a little bit knotted up because I tried it on but one of those hair tie moments with a little fluff at the end because these are $10 at freaking Target. So I decided to get one because they were one something and it looks cute. So I figured I'd just give it a shot and see what it was like. I think the quality feels around the same. And the last two things that I got are the replacement to those orangey-ish color. I don't even know what color that technically is. I got almost the same exact pair in black. And I am keeping the black one, not for the top but you can't just return one obviously because they're a two pack. So I got it because of the bottom. So the pair almost look like they're the same bathing suits, but they're not because the bottoms are really, really low cut. So it does go below like the place the hair usually starts growing. So you gotta be careful about that. So it's a little bit lower cut than any other bathing suit, but I really think it looks good on me to wear a low cut one. So it's got this V moment right here and it does cut in a lot. And it's got the ties on the side and it's very similar to the other pair we were looking at but in black and lower cut and the top is the exact same way it's just not a top for me and then this one is really is for me I would never normally buy something like this because it's not my usual I don't normally use one pieces I also don't normally go for this style but this bathing suit was super cute and it kind of reminds me of that old triangle brand that like no one really buys anymore but those bathing suits were so popular never owned one it reminds me of that vibe it looks super cute it's just the butt's a little bit bigger so it's pretty coverage which is definitely what other people are looking for I'm just one of those people like I like to be a little cheeky but I'm still keeping it because I still think it fits really really well it's really flattering I don't wear the zip up all the way what I do is I put it like I don't know if I would say at my bra line, but I keep it slit open like this, and it seems to stay. I don't know how well it'd stay in the water, but it looks much cuter if you leave it unzipped a little bit. And overall, love this suit. Would definitely recommend it. And oh my goodness, that is everything I got, except I did get some anklets and a body chain but overall i would say i loved all the pieces i think they held up really well in quality except that one bathing suit bottom and then other than that the pieces i'm deciding not to keep are because they're not really flattering on my body but they might be flattering on someone else's and i hope you guys enjoy that i will link down below my haul playlist because if you're like me i binge watch the heck out of these and there's more videos for you guys to see and i hope you have a great rest of your morning evening night Whatever it is for you, crazy fam, I'll see you soon.